Hello everyone, welcome back. This is day 115 of my coding journey. In this video, I'm gonna to try to create a carousel with React. I remember I used to look at this type of stuff and thought it was so complicated. But now that I know the basics of React, it doesn't seem too complicated. So I think I got this, you know, I, I have Google, I got Stack Overflow if I need help. So let's get started. All right, so I created a Create React app. I probably shouldn't be using Create React app. <laughs> Um, I got recommended to use uh, Vite or Vite, and I also want to start using Next.js. Still haven't learned Next.js yet. I don't know why I still had that open, but um, yeah. So let's get started. I already created this the React app. I just got to delete all the the random stuff that it comes with. This is why I need to find a new build tool. All right, so let me delete all this stuff. All right. So yeah, I think I'm gonna use SAS. I've been secretly learning SAS this last uh, few days. Been watching like SAS videos. Like I said, I watch random videos, man. Like the most random shit I just be watching. Uh, let me do my, my computer's going so slow right now. All right, so let me just quickly get rid of all this stuff that I don't need. So I can get to coding, baby. All right, delete all that. We can delete the test file. This is why create React app is dead. Come with all this unnecessary crap. All right, and I'm just gonna just go ahead and do an H1 I. All right. Wait, why didn't that work? Oh, <laughs> I put high as the thing. I'm already fucking up. All right, so let's take this off. We can remove the, I don't know, we can keep that. I think that's really it. Should be able to see high. All right, perfect. All right, so yeah, let's remove all of this CSS too. And that, all right. So just a look, quick record check, make sure everything's recording. All right, perfect. All right, so let's get started on this. What I'm gonna do, let me go ahead and install SAS. My server close. All right, so I'm gonna install SAS, MPI SAS. And yeah, I've been secretly learning SAS. I think I, um, mentioned it earlier but i forgot to finish but yeah i've been secretly learning sas a little bit here and there it's really not that much to learn it's just it's basically just css and you can nest uh css in it and do a bunch of other stuff that i don't know yet all right so that's that sas is installed let's go ahead and create components i could just do all this in the app file but just trying to practice my organization. <laughs> this my code will be so messy. All right, I'm gonna do a slider at JSX. And then I'm gonna do, why is my component folder up there? Why is it not? Oh, I got it outside of the SRC. That's why let's put it in here. All right, perfect. So slider JSX, and then I'm gonna do a slaughter.scss and I don't know about you guys but this is just something so small but just using JSX and then using SCSX the icons just look so sexy together like I don't know it just looks so much better than just having a JS there with JS and then a CSS I don't know the SAS logo and a JSX logo looks whatever React logo looks nice all right but um that's that. Let's close out of that. That was random. I know it was random. All right. So let's go to sliders. Do R A F E. Do all the normal crap. And I'm gonna go ahead and import the SAS since I'm here. Uh, slider. Dot slash slider. Dot S T S S. All right. Let me take off this bracelet. Not a, it's like a little, a gold band that my father-in-law gave me. 
I'm gonna keep making noise every time I go there. I'll move my mouse. All right, so slider, and then let's go ahead and import it in the app. Yes. Take all of this off. I'm gonna do a fragment. Just import it here. All right. We should see slider, right? Oh, got to start my server back. All right, so while that's loading, since my computer wants to go slow, might as well do something else. <laughs> that's going that's going to take a little bit. I don't know why it takes so long now. I think I need to upgrade my computer. All right, so let's go ahead and start, and then everything opens. All right. Let this load. Come on, come on. <laughs> Damn. My computer really sucks. That is crazy. My computer is really slow now. That is wild. All right. Anyways. So we should. It's still going. Oh my God. Oh, okay. All right, let's put, um, well, we know it's working because it's there. All right. Okay, so I think first thing we should do is actually find some images. So this is going to be a carousel. We're going to need some images. So let's just go to Unsplash. And I'm not sure. I'm just going to use some random images. I might just use like some clothes, some clothing models or something. Urban clothing. Um, urban, let's type in like urban, urban fashion, do that, urban fashion, and we're going to need landscape, this one's nice, go with this one, and instead of downloading it, I'm just going to copy the URL, copy image address, instead of like downloading it and then making it, and important into this i'm just gonna do this hard code it right in so i'm gonna do a const images equals and just do an array cost really const images equals that and i'm just gonna paste the urls here all right so that's one Oh, it's another one. All of these are nice. I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda <laughs> I might actually build on to this site. I said I was trying to create an e-commerce site. Shit, might <laughs> might build on to these site. All these are nice, nice images, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's do this one. Ah. Let's get that other one that we just saw. This one. Actually, let's do this one. This one looks nice. Nah. I mean, I don't know why I'm caring about the picture. It's just a practice. <laughs> let's go with this one. This one looks nice. Something colorful. All right, copy image. All right, so we got our images. Cool. And I probably should put this in a separate file, but just to, I don't know, it looks a little messy, don't it? Nah, we'll just keep it like this. Screw it. All right. So we got our images, and let's go ahead and I say we, I'm going to do just the, I don't know, the structure of it first with the JSX and then maybe style it and then and put the logic in and get it working and stuff. So let's do that first. So let's go ahead and pick out these uh, fragments. I'm gonna do a div. Give this a class name of slider. And inside the slider, I'm gonna do a other div. Uh, I'm gonna give this a class name of image container. 
This is gonna hold all of our images. I'm going to go ahead and put our images up now. So image, SRC. I'm going to do, so since it's in the image array, so zero, one, two. So I'm going to do images, zero, the SRC, and then alt can just be anything. All right, and I'm going to copy this. Zero, one, two. All right, so we should be able to see our images. Nice. All right, cool. Um, so I'm about to, I think I might start, start styling those first. So let's go to the slider. Do the slider. And this is why I like SAS. This is my first time actually using SAS, like on my own. I just been watching videos and stuff, but uh, now I can nest. Um, that stuff inside of this. I really like that. So slider, I'm going to do a width or should I do a height? Let's do a height first. Do a height of calc. Oh. Fucking up. A calc of 100 VH minus 80 pixels. And then I'm going to do a width 100%. Thought this should change, okay. Make sure that my thing is connected just in case. Oh, let's stop. How to say what the hell? Alright, cool. So the slider is that, and that let's go ahead and grab the image container. I'm gonna do image batch container. I'm gonna give this a width of a hundred actually this width i'm gonna do a hundred vw view width and now i'm gonna do a hundred view width on this one as well and height of a hundred percent and i think that's it for now let's grab the image which is inside of this one. This is the nested man. I'm telling you that nesting. So image. Oh, what am I doing? Wait, can I nest inside of this? <laughs> oh, I forgot to put the thing. I was gonna say, hold on, wait, but I can. That's why I'm using you, size. That's why I like you. Nesting. Alright, so image. I'm gonna do a width of 100 view width okay and then okay so we got all our images looking nice let's do a display flex on this should go side by side all right so we have to figure out let's do let's give this a height 100%. I shouldn't be using percent, man. I had of 100% and maybe I should because for some reason you can still I, I need this image to span across the entire entire width. I'm going to change this to like a bigger one. See if that works. 300. There we go. All right. And it's a little, the, the images look weird. To fix that, all we got to do is just do object fit. Cover. There we go. Now they look better. Still a little pixelated, but we just need to get bigger images. But I mean, these are due for now, I guess. Just a practice project. All right, so I think that's all of the CSS for now. Uh, actually, no, it's not. I want to add some buttons. You got to add buttons down here. So 
I don't know. I can use any re uh, icon library. I might as well just use React icons, I guess. This is easier. Go ahead and install this. Ah, oh, I got to put off my server. That sucks. It's going to take years to start back up. Go ahead and install that. And while we at it, let's get some arrows. Why does installing some arrows or arrow maybe? Arrow. All right. So I'm gonna go with something. Probably just this one, I guess. These two, the BS arrow left. Yeah, I think those are like the only good ones. Oh, they got more, more here. I like these ones, FA. Let's go with these ones, these two. All right, so FA, reg arrow. So let's go ahead and import these to our slider. All right, let's do imports. Uh, from React icons, and since we're using FA, we gotta do it slash FA. I remember I was working on my Tripper website, my travel agency, and it took me forever to figure out, cause I was using icons on React icons, and it took me forever to figure out that I had to put the slash. I think I was using BS, they have BS here. So if I'm using these ones, I gotta do slash BS. And I believe they have some, they got AI, they got a bunch of them. I was like, why are, like, why are they not working? All right, so let's do, copy that and let's just, change it to right hopefully that's the same one let's do it right all right so we got our icons that's the slider do let's make another div last name icons and i'm gonna put these into separate divs do a class name icon Actually, do we even need to do this? You know, with the nest in, we, <laughs> we don't need to do this, probably. All right, and let's go ahead and. So this one is going to be the left arrow. So let's do FA left. And this will be FA right. All right. We should be able to see them now. Sorry about my camera. Okay. But what's the issue? Why can't we see them? Oh, my server. It's going to take forever to start. PM starts. And if you guys want to follow along, I probably should have mentioned this in the beginning of the video. You guys are welcome to follow along as well. But I ain't promising you much. <laughs> It's been a lot of times, uh, this is my 115th video. It's been a lot of times where I didn't create something and it didn't work out, but I still upload the video even if it even if it doesn't work. But I think this will definitely work because like I said, I, I understand the logic now and I am going to explain the logic a little bit. The best is, the best that I can because um, I'm not really that good at explaining. When it comes to the code, I'm not really good at explaining it. All right, so we got our icons here. So now we need our icons to go on here. But all the stuff I'm doing now is just beginner stuff. So if you guys are watching this, you guys are probably already know all this stuff already, to be honest. All right, so we got our arrows. We need them there. Let's try to get those there. So, all right, so we want the image container. I'm gonna make this position relative. And then still inside there and do icons and make these position absolute not position relative i think all right and let's do a display flex and let's just give it a gap for now of two room. 
all right that's too too wide but maybe if i make them a little bit bigger let's do a font size uh what the hell is font optional what is that <laughs> all right font size of let's do three rim you're gonna be huge watch Yeesh. all right so we need them there uh only thing i think can think about is do the little trick the center trick and to do that we just got to do a top of 50 percent first let me see if it moves on top of it okay perfect so top 50 percent and then we'll do a left 50 percent and then so it looks like it's center but it's not really center it's more over to the right so to get it perfectly centered only that you have to do a translate is it transform translate yeah transform translate and you do a negative 50 percent comma negative 50 percent and now it's directly in the middle it's perfectly centered so i think that's good and now just come down some so i'm just gonna go from the top i'm just gonna probably just make this to like 80 percent and maybe like 90 percent or maybe like B5 maybe that's a little too much to do 85 85% all right let's make sure it's responsive nice stays in the same spot all right so we got our buttons there maybe change the color to like um white color white we could add a shadow shadow and I'm just gonna text shadow what I like doing I do best tech text shadows and there's a site that I'll be getting from I think this is it yeah I think this is it shows like some nice oh this one's showing weird ones not these funky ones <laughs> it was one that I Found that shows some really nice ones. I think it was this site. But yeah, something like this. Something so simple. Try this one. Make sure everything's still recording. All right, perfect. All right. I didn't that didn't do nothing <laughs> that that didn't do anything um did it dude my mouse is dying this sucks I might gotta pause the video and go pick up get up my get my charger from downstairs did that do anything yeah that didn't do anything I'm taking that off we just leave it like this for now just wait just trying to basically get it to work all right so i think that's it i think all the css is done so now let's do the logic this is oh before i do the, before i show you guys the logic so keep this in mind because now it's going to all make sense this is it's so easy it's crazy so for the image container right i want to do so right now this is this is the first slide I don't know why it's showing white right there. It's weird. But this is the first slide. So let's do a translate. Uh, or is it transform? Transform. And we're going to do a translate. And I'm going to do negative 200 VW. So when I do that, it should go to the next slide. So, well, actually, it went to the, the last slide, actually. And then when I do 100, it'll go to the middle slide. And then, you know, back to 200. So basically, we're just going to take this CSS logic and put it in JSX or React using use state. So, so simple, man. Like, now that I'm, uh, I think I'm past the beginner phrase. I think I'm a little bit over beginner. And now I'm starting to, like, starting to understand a bunch of stuff. And it's really... Really helping me out i'm not gonna lie doing these little projects and stuff but 
So yeah, that's all. That's all it really is. It's just basically just taking that and putting it in this. All right, so let's go ahead and import use state. Use state. All right, so go ahead and do some state. Let's do cons. So we're gonna do a current slide and let's set current slide. Uh, let's go ahead and, and it's going to be use state and the initial value is going to be zero all right so i'm trying to figure this out so we need to set up two click events so we're going to need one for the next slide and we're going to need one for the previous slide which is the left arrow so let's do a a um Cons. Let's do previous slide first. Do prev slide equals. All right. So in this one, I want to we're gonna set the current slide, and we're gonna use a ternary operator. So we're gonna do current slide. And if it's equals to zero, we're gonna return two, and then else turn a function ah, and then we're going to do prev plus one this is all going to make sense in a second all right so prev plus one i might got to change it to negative but we're going to see if it works um and then we're going to take this and do the next slide basically just take all of this and just switch it around so instead of zero i'm gonna do two instead of two i'm gonna do zero and instead of plus i'm just gonna do minus actually i think it's the other way around we gotta do plus for plus for that and then minus for this one if i'm not mistaken but i mean we'll see if it works or not we'll go back to that and then so that's that and then I'm going to go to my inner container and rem remember that style that I showed you guys, instead of putting it into the SAS file, I'm going to put it into the JSX It's inline styling. So I'm going to put, put it here and I'm going to do a transform and then I'm going to do back ticks because I'm going to need to use um, this current slide there. So I'm going to use back ticks. I'm gonna do a translate. Translate. I'm gonna do X. And in here, I'm gonna do negative dollar sign. It's gonna be current slide times a hundred. Remember, I showed you guys. Do I feel like I'm a teacher? I'm. This ain't a tutorial. This is. I'm literally learning as as well. I'm, this ain't a tutorial, but. Uh, remember I showed you guys in the SAS file um, that, you know, where, whenever we change the translate X to negative 200 VH, it goes to the next one. So this is literally, you can, you guys can piece it together. I suck at explaining things, but see when zero is two and then two times a hundred, that's 200 VH. Uh, oh, v, VW, sorry. I'm going to do VW. So that's that and now i think all we got to do is put the on clicks so i don't know the on well no i can't go there so i think i gotta go on the div so we're gonna do an on click and this one to be pre slide and i'm gonna do an on click And this one to be next slide. All right, perfect. All right, so let's see if this works. There we go, working perfectly. And that's that's really it. I mean, oh, we got a transition. Let's add a transition. Let's do a transition. Uh, let's do all. Let's do zero point one second. 
and ease, I guess. That didn't work. Maybe. Oh, it is 0.1 second. Maybe one second. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that looks way better. There we go. I think that's really it. I mean, I don't think, I mean, I could, I could get a little fancy with it. I really could get a little fancy with it and they get a little fancy with it. I could make this automatic by adding a set interval on the next, next slide. All right, let's see if we can do this. Um, all right, let's do it. Let's do a use effects and I'm gonna do a con slide. This would be set interval. Um, I gotta look up a set interval function. Uh, let's do a react set interval use effect. All right. That interval, so yeah, it does take a function for his argument, and then here is just be next slide, right? Because I want it to go to the right, so it'll just be next slide that function, and then we're gonna need yep, return. So down here, we're gonna return a clear interval. Clear interval, and this would be slide, right? Yep, I think that'll work. Oh, what the hell? Breaking! Wait! Oh no! <laughs> we gotta, we gotta set a time here. Let's do five seconds, five thousand milliseconds, and then we have to add a. Dependency. I don't know if it needs a dependency, but I think you should always add something there, right? <laughs> All right, so let's test this out. All right, I'm gonna change it to two seconds for now, so it can just go a little faster. I right, see if it works. There we go, baby. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. It's working. Hold on, wait. It's going to a no. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. I think I do gotta add a dependency. I think I do. Um, maybe slide. No, slide can't be the dependency if it's set to set interval. And it can't be next slide. Let's try current slide. What the? A set interval. Let's try that. See. Let's go. It resets. Let's go. Fucking works. <laughs> oh man, that is amazing. But well, there we go. There's the carousel, and this should still work. Nice. I'm definitely gonna add. Um, a carousel to my full stack e-commerce site now that I know how to make it. I know this is probably the easiest way to make it. I'm pretty sure there's more smarter and complicated ways and maybe better ways to um to make it, but um this is the way that I found out how to make it and and um I'm really proud of myself for this set interval thing. This is something that just came off the fly just now. This is crazy. Um yeah, that's that's crazy. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna set this to like five thousand. Uh, five seconds. Oh, I think I refresh. All right, so yeah, I think that's that's good. I think that's it for today. That is day one fifteen. 
thank you guys for tuning in if you guys followed along um i think i might upload this to my github and if you guys followed followed along let me know how your code turned out and stuff and peace out i'll see you guys tomorrow